some few questions we need to ask ourselves. Over the next five years, businesses and individuals will throw out one million working computers in Ireland. Kamara is dedicated to refurbishing these computers and sending them to schools and colleges in Africa. Kamara also produces computer training materials and educational multimedia in areas such as HIV and AIDS and gender equality. Well, basically, Camara is it's set up essentially as an organisation that believes that education is the way forward in Africa, and, um, and we believe that technology has a has a key role to play in education in Africa. What's your favourite thing to do here? To create graphics. Uh, one of the one of the things that most educational institutions are recognising worldwide, even in the developing world, is that. ICT will play a key role. The organisation itself is um, it's, it's very worthwhile in today's climate. What's your favourite subject? Computer. Yeah, that's cool. But I believe with Linux, so not only it's a free operating system, but we are able to see it as a future. I want to play games on the computer and make presentation. We use the computers as an aid to education rather than just as a uh, yeah, as a separate uh, subject. Because you can take it anywhere. Yeah. A tool that you cannot do without it. Supply of computers to school is a government objective. And uh, as an NGO, what we are doing is to supplement what the government cannot do at the current period. So I think Kamara has come in at the right time to tackle this issue of information technology in schools. Kamara is giving us a fishing line this certainly can work. It's a very good idea. Each July, Kamara sends volunteers to countries in sub-Saharan Africa to train African teachers in basic computer literacy and more specialised technology areas. And then you go down and you see find in this page. Kamara is established two years and during the summer we sent 60 volunteers to Zambia, Lesotho, Ethiopia, Kenya and Uganda. It becomes more enjoyable the longer you go on, the more experience you get. Some people would have a clue what a mouse or a keyboard or where it was. And at the end of the two days they're you know, making spreadsheets and drawing and paint and that kind of thing. Okay, so where it says the country from travelling around was brilliant as well. I think the paths that we did see were very diverse. It was like Salambo. It was well worth it. It was a long bus trip. It was eight, eight hours or something. Kind of keeps it fresh. So we're here uh, at Salt Lake Lodge on our first safari. One of the most amazing things that I got to see was um, the computer. 75 computers were coming um, to Lamu the truck door opened and we saw those familiar brown boxes with the Kamara stickers and it kind of made it all real, the journey that the computers make. Africa needs 270 million additional computers to give it the same level of computer coverage that exists in Ireland today. However, with an average income per capita of less than $1 a day, millions of people starving, and the HIV AIDS pandemic, governments have other priorities for their money.
This in turn leaves Africa behind in the technological boom that is happening on the world stage of today. Kamara are busy preparing for Africa 2008, sending computers, developing training materials and recruiting volunteers for both the workshop and for the Africa 2008 program, which will materialize in Zambia, Kenya, Ethiopia, Lesotho, Uganda, and for the first time, Rwanda and Tanzania. Let's just say it, it, it's good. It's good. Once you get over the initial kind of culture shock of it all, it's, it's, it, it is good. It's I think if you're going to invest your time into some charity or volunteer work, um, Kamara is definitely an organisation that won't waste that investment. So one of our plans down the line, and this is 2007, we're hoping to have these opened up before the end of the year, is that we would actually establish a Kamara facility on the ground here in the countries that we are connected to in Africa. <laughs> Kamara offers volunteers to be part of something special to help African countries benefit from and have access to information communication technology, which is imperative to development in today's climate, whatever part of the world you're in. Forget experience and special skills. To work with Kamara, all you need is a good attitude and lots of energy. Then the experience and skills will come. Kamara is an eclectic organization and it thrives and survives on the support and input from volunteers.